DDM release 2007.1 includes the new Replace In Manager. The Replace In Manager allows users to decide, when they up issue a part, which other assemblies that use the part should now use the new issue. This presentation uses SOLIDWORKS, but this new functionality is applicable to all supported CAD applications. What's more, the Replace In Manager will work from DDM Office, allowing NUNCAD users with the correct permissions to make changes associated with part issues. In this example we have two assemblies, a pneumatic actuator assembly C-10014A and a regulator panel assembly C-10016A. Both assemblies share a common component, the valve bracket C-10012A, which we plan to modify and up issue. We're currently working on the actuator assembly, and so this is on our workbench. The regulator panel assembly is not reserved to any user, so let's remove this from session while we work on the actuator assembly. From within the actuator assembly we're going to add some chamfers to the valve bracket and then up issue the bracket and the assembly. In the Up Issue Manager, we now select both the assembly and the bracket and move them to the next issue, adding Change Number and Change Reason. We can see in the Up Issue Manager window that we have a checkbox to launch the Replace In Manager. This can be used to suit your own way of working. You may prefer to just up issue the components in the assembly you're currently working on and leave other decisions till later. Any assemblies using the part at the old issue will identify that a newer issue is available in the Load dialog when the affected assembly is next loaded into session. However, we now have the flexibility to review affected assemblies at the point of making the new issue by selecting to use the Replace In Manager, and we'll select that now. The first window we see shows us the effects on any higher level assemblies of up issuing the assembly itself. This assembly is not used elsewhere in this case, and so there are no results to show in the replacement window. Let's click on OK. In the second window we can see assemblies affected by up-issuing the valve bracket C-10012A. We can see that two assemblies are affected. Issue 1 of the actuator assembly itself C-10014A and also the regulator panel assembly C-10016A. The actuator assembly is the old issue and should not use the up-issued part. However we want to apply the new part to the regulator panel assembly. Before we can make the changes, we must add the assembly to our workbench. We can now select the regulator panel assembly, C-10016A, to replace the valve bracket with the new issue. We could at this point click Apply, which would implement the change on the selected assemblies and leave us with a list of those that haven't had the replacements implemented. This could be useful if we had a large number of assemblies affected by the change. For now we can click on OK. The save is complete and the new assembly is now in session. Let's close this assembly from session and confirm that the regulator panel assembly has been updated with the new issue valve bracket. We do get confirmation from the load dialog that issue 2 of the valve bracket is now in use. Let's OK this to confirm by loading the assembly into session. We can see that the assembly does now use the up-issued part.
This concludes the presentation on the Replace In Manager.